Hey guys, Jack Keep with the new one. I know my hair is a mess right now. I know it is because I'm waiting for it to dry. And normally you're probably all gonna shout at me why you're doing that. You should let your hair air dry when it's down. Today it's really, really hot out here. <laughs> it's about let's see. Oh, nice new phone, huh? It's 88 degrees down here. 88. Do you see that? It's 88 degrees at night in Texas. But today I want to discuss to you about physical attraction and a real relationship. So, holy. <laughs> I can. I'm going to use myself and my sister as the next explanation. My sister, I actually, when I grew up with her, I realized she had a lot of boyfriends. She had a lot of them. And physical attraction, she was the most into physical attraction. She really liked the face, the body, but she never really took time to get into the deeper meaning. Of course, she had a long relationship she cried about when they broke up. Yes, it is hard. Breakup is hard. For me, I kind of Sorry, it's midnight here. <laughs> it's about twelve thirty at night, but um, that's not stopping me from doing video. Um, for me, I was in my first relationship with a guy, and I was oh my gosh, I was doing anything just to make sure he was in love with me. I did everything. I changed myself. I changed everything, and then I realized, okay, you know what? What am I doing here? Broke it off. Then came Ahmed. You guys might have seen him from my boyfriend tag video and a couple vlogs. Uh, I have not put up that vlog yet. If I did, he's probably in a couple of them. So, But in the relationship with him, it was in the beginning we started talking nice and easily. My phone's about to die, but oh well, I'll charge it. Um, beginning we started talking about just like little minor things and then like later on like after like two or three months like six or seven months we started talking about a little bit more physical stuff so i wasn't as comfortable with that and i kept telling him that and we, that's when we started getting into little arguments and it's like okay whatever and then i started growing up a little bit more and more and more and we took a break for a while and then when i got back and came back from texas i actually went to school here in Texas. Um, I came back and it's really funny because we ended up just hitting it off right there. So after that we ended up starting dating again and that's when my YouTube channel came up and started users a uh, boyfriend tag. So if y'all see it or like right somewhere somewhere on my face here <laughs> or my screen. I have this little like screen right here. Okay, y'all probably think I'm stupid. Um for instance, I went for a lot of guys who were hot. And I didn't realize I was stupidly, stupidly looking at the guy who was hot. And I shot myself in the head for the first time and thought about okay, stop it. You got to know on someone in a deeper relationship. So later on in the relationship, y'all know, in December uh, 2011, I ended up breaking up with Amit. Yes, it was a little difficult at first. It was very hard because I was used to having him around. I was used to having everything. But in the relationship, I saw that he only was attracted to, yeah, and not on a deeper note. And that's what I wanted, so. And I did miss him the first time. I actually almost went back to him, but if it wasn't for some friends who were making me and smacking upside the head, like, are you crazy? Are you stupid? You just left that relationship. But it's hard. Um, I realized after a couple months, my sister had a couple physical relationships as well, and that includes some late night calls and late night messages from her. So, and then. Sorry. Then I had 
couple, and I actually had a relationship with a guy overseas, and that was really difficult because we didn't see each other all the time. And it was physical. She would call me pretty all the time, and yeah, I do like to believe I am pretty, but not for like my appearance, but for the person I am on the inside. That's what I believe. And we ended up breaking that off. We ended up breaking up and everything, so that relationship was good. And basically, when I was with my guy now, yes, I you guy, I'm actually, I'm sorry, my hair is bugging me. Okay. Could be hair here. But the guy I'm with now is super supportive, super sweet, and he's always telling me, you know what, just keep trying, just keep doing your best, even though we don't get to talk to each other every day. Yeah. Um, also at the same time, like, he's very gen generous, very sweet, very kind, and he will also talk to me. There are some moments we do have our physical attraction moments, but not as much, and that's why I really appreciate, I appreciate it in a little tinier doses. Like, for me, I appreciate it a little bit, so it's actually a little bit easier. But for my sister's example, I'm sorry, let me see as an example, but um, my sister, she was very into the hot guys, and I wasn't as attractive in high school. Oh my gosh, no! I didn't think I was attractive at all, and when I I was just a nerd who said, "Okay, I'm gonna get into high school. I'm gonna do my work. Get out." Do what I need to do. <laughs> that went wrong. For an example, I did end up making a friend, and my god. Oh lord. I should never give him my number, and that just ended up going to chaos. So it's funny, because we're not as good friends today, but we're like. Yeah, we just. We'll say hi on Facebook, and that's it, so. It's just really, like, to the point where, like, oh, okay, you're only into that. So, it took me, like, five or ten minutes to realize, okay, he's into that. He doesn't want to do anything but that. So, so I realized that, and thankfully, the guy I am with, he is really sweet and generous, and he's rushed me to that, so that's really good. And, for instance, what I realized in a physical relationship don't look at the face and think, oh my gosh, he's really, he's gorgeous, he's everything. Get to know the person that you know and see what it's like for them. And this is becoming a video, so I better shut up and stop rambling. Um, but my few key points to you is, if you want a deeper relationship, get to know the person on the deeper side. Like, what they like, what is interesting to them. Like, get to know them, talk to them a lot more than just ask for a picture of the, of the fully, blah. yeah, that was my first mistake in my really two year relationship when I was with Tom, so, I will get back to that later on, because this video is coming to be eight minutes now, um, it's just, yeah, don't go for the guy that's always hot, and forget about the little person that's right next to you that always could actually give you a little bit of attention because you know one day that little guy could turn out to be really good looking, really good sweetheart and actually I'd rather have the guy that actually isn't that good looking to me and have them be a total sweetheart than have the guy good looking and flirt with other girls. That would be for me but for instance I don't know what you girls like and my just for guys, don't sit there and ask after the first couple months of pictures because we as girls were super self conscious of our bodies. Some of you girls might be okay with that. I was a little nervous at first. Oh god lord, I was scared at first. And I better shut up now because I'm rambling on again. Um, first of all, just be yourselves, talk normally, and I know. You girls and guys are going to high school and <laughs> it's hormone time, so. Anyway, um, for girls, yeah, I know we have some partners too. 
And then we also have some part of how we dress, how we actually put our makeup on. But sometimes, just act normal, be yourself. That's all I can say. Um, for some girls who like to go home on the first date with a guy, it's either a one night thing or something that's physical attraction or something. But if you're just looking at the, their face and everything and you're physically attracted to them, it's not going to work out. It's either going to end up blowing up in your face and that's going to be really hard. But for some girls and some guys who are really searching for a deeper note, comment down below, rate, or subscribe. So, until next time, Stargate 791, and I am.